This video is about buying and eating good quality fish. It has been made to help you make the most of the fish you buy and help you use your money wisely and make sure you keep yourself and your family healthy and happy. Before watching this training video, you should first watch the introduction to fish handling and good practice video which tells you why fish goes bad and gives you basic ideas on good practice. In this video, you will learn about why it is good to eat fish. You will learn about how to choose good quality fish and fish products and you will also learn about how to prepare fish well. You will sometimes see this red cross which tells you that what you are seeing is not good. You will sometimes see this green tick which tells you that you are seeing something which is a good practice and which you should try and do. As you go through this video, your trainer will stop so you can share what you have learned. Please watch carefully and you will learn how to make a positive change to the way you buy and prepare fish. We want you to demand good quality fish. In this way, fishermen, processors and traders will also improve their businesses. Lesson 1. Why is it good to eat fish? Did you know that fish is full of good things for our bodies? It is one of the best foods to eat. It makes you strong and healthy. Fish contains a lot of protein that your body needs and cannot get from other foods. Fish protein is also easy for you to digest. Fish gives you important minerals that your body needs to work properly, like calcium, potassium, phosphorus, and magnesium. Fish gives you important vitamins that your body needs to work properly, like vitamins A, B, D, and E. Fish, especially oily fish like lake sardines, contain a lot of good fats for your body. These special types of fat found in fish are called omega-3. They help to protect you from heart diseases, cancer, and arthritis. Omega-3 is also good for brain development in babies and helps your children concentrate well at school. Fish is good for everyone. It is good for pregnant mothers to eat because it helps baby develop well. It is good for people who are ill because it makes them stronger. It is good for elderly people because it is easy to eat. Of course, the other thing about fish is it is very tasty. Okay, so let's take a few minutes to discuss what you have learned. Can you tell us why fish is good to eat? Lesson 2. How to choose good quality fish. Good quality fish tastes the best and is the safest to eat. That is why we should always try to buy the best quality. The first thing to look at when you buy fish is the place that is selling the fish. Make sure it is clean and the equipment is clean. Make sure that the person who is selling the fish is also clean. The place should also smell good. When you buy fresh fish, then there are some things you should look for to see if the fish is good quality or not. Look at the eyes of the fish. If they are bright, shiny, protruding and not cloudy, then the fish is fresh and good. It should not look like this, with sunken or cloudy and dull looking eyes. This means poor quality. Look at the gills of the fish. If the gills are red, then the fish is fresh and good. It should not look like this, with brown or whitish colored gills. When you touch the fish and you push the flesh in with your finger, it should bounce back and not be soft. Check that the fish is not damaged 
and it is clean with no dirt on it. If the fish is iced, then you can guess that it has been well looked after and the seller is making the effort to sell good quality fish. Now, let us look at how to choose good quality processed fish. When you buy smoked fish, look for brown colored fish, not black or burnt fish. Check that there are no insects on the fish and that it is not broken up into pieces. Dried fish, like lake sardines, should be a silver color and free from sand and other dirt. Salted and dried fish should be free from insects and should be firm to touch. The yellow color is normal, but it should not be too dark or brown. Often, frozen fish can be of excellent quality, especially if the fish has been frozen soon after capture. If you want to buy frozen fish, then make sure it is still hard and frozen, that the packaging is good, that there are no holes in it, and that there are no ice crystals in the pack. Okay, so let's take a few minutes to discuss what you have learned. Can you tell us what do we look for when we want to buy good quality fish? Lesson 3. How to prepare and cook fish well. Once we have bought our fish, the story does not end there. We need to make sure we prepare it and cook it well to maintain its quality, safety, and nutritional value. Fresh fish should be cooked and eaten soon after you have bought it. If you cannot do this, then preserve the fish in ice or in a refrigerator if you have one. In between buying the fish and preparing it for cooking, protect it from flies and dirt. Make sure your hands and all your utensils like knives and chopping board are clean. Before cooking the fish, remove any intestines and scales and wash it in clean water. You should soak dried or smoked fish in clean water. Always cook your fish using good quality ingredients. Cook the fish well. Last but not least, always eat the fish soon after it has been cooked and when it is still hot. Okay, so let's take a few minutes to discuss what you have learned. Can you tell us what we should do to make sure that the fish we bought is good to eat? What have we learned? Fish is one of the most nutritious foods to eat. It contains protein, omega-3 fats, minerals, and vitamins. It is good for everyone, including pregnant women, babies and children, the elderly, and the sick. We need to make sure the place we buy the fish from is clean and so is the seller. Check the quality of fresh fish before buying it by looking at the eyes, gills, and checking the firmness of the meat. Fresh fish should be iced. Processed fish should be the right color and free from insects. Cook and eat fresh fish soon after buying it. Wash it in clean water and cook it well. Eat it as soon after cooking when it is still hot. Follow these tips and you and your family will always enjoy fish and will get the most from it.